What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a, a must-do mod to any like off-road, especially a Toyota off-road vehicle, 4x4, whatever. Let's just do it. So this mod is completely free, but if you have kids, short friends, short family members, you might not want to do it. So let's go. Yes, we are removing the running boards. Get rid of this. And that's gonna make the car look a little bit higher make it look like it's lifted and it just these running boards you don't really need them before we do anything we're actually going to take out these rear seats because honestly take up a lot of weight and uh, i need it for storage for tomorrow so let's just get rid of these and tuck them away for now until i actually need to carry that many people all right no more rear seats tons of room gotta put wheels here so damn it's just dirty gotta clean this this guy said it had no pets. That looked like freaking pet hair. What a liar. All right, so next thing I wanna do is check the timing belt because it's old and I don't know how long I can drive on it. I'm gonna get replaced soon, but I just wanna look at it for safety. All right, took a little peek. Um, still pretty good, so I might just leave it for it. Just a little bit longer. I'm not too worried about this. I don't see any cracks. Check on this side. Yeah, looks good to me. This is probably the same as my Forerunner and all the other ones I had. It's just a bunch of, looks like 12. Let's see. Yep, look like they're all 12s. Let's pull it off and see how the car looks. Dude, right there, instantly better. 10 times better. Just looks like a, you know, like a, doesn't look, doesn't look like a family car anymore. It looks like, you know, it wants to go off-roading. It's just the tires look pretty shitty, but that's coming soon. So other side now. All right, so you guys want to look under the car. It's not that rusty. A little bit rust because, you know, even though this is a California car, uh, we don't get rust, but this car was driven to Tahoe multiple times. And so we have a little bit of surface rust, but nothing terrible. And that Cadillac converter looks brand new. What the hell? Look at that. This whole pipe looks different. It's like rusty. New pipe. Huh. I'm leaking oil right there, but I think as soon as I went on the driveway and when I did an oil change, all the leftover oil that was sitting on the tray is spilling out. So I'll double check that. It's like way better. It just looks like it's lifted off the ground. Just look at that. Well, would you look at that? Simple things just make everything look better. So uh, let me clean up. All right, so running boards are gone, looks great. So we're gonna continue this video tomorrow when I go pick up some wheels and now the look is gonna be a lot better, 10 times better. So I'll see you in a couple minutes. All right, so we are on the way to pick up my new wheels and tires in Tracy. So we got about a 50 minute drive. I did buy some You'll see. You'll see if we get there when we put it on, so let's go. All right, so here is the car. Ooh, say hi to the camera. See, just deleting the sliders or the running boards and adding some new wheels just completely changes the look of the car. Just look at that. All right, so these wheels are the TRD Pro replica wheels. They are the 17 by eight plus zero. And the reason I went with the TRD Pro replica wheels is because they run wider and you can fit a bigger tire if you wanted to right now it's stock height and you know for budget reasons for a budget car I, I wasn't trying to spend that much money on some real trd wheels when these are perfectly fine for daily for towing the tires they are venom power terra hunters xc so they're like a hybrid between uh, mud terrain and all terrain and the tread pattern just looks 
crazy. Just look at this. Yeah, and so uh, I had I heard really good reviews about these tires, and they're an all-terrain. They're more like an all-terrain and a mud-terrain tire, but have good ratings. They're kind of loud, but uh, I want to test them out in the snow and see how they drive. But for the most part, this is going to be a daily anyway, so I'm not too worried about performance on like the mud and street. I mean, mostly just rain and a snow trip here and there. So I decided to go with these tires because you know me, I like cheap stuff, and I heard good reviews about it. And so fake wheels, cheap tires. Look good. Does the job, you know. This is not a crazy off-road car. It's not a rock crawler. It's not even an overland. It's more daily. You go to snow and tow a car. So it's gonna look good and drive good. So yeah, you guys like it? Look at that front. It's a good shot right here. I need a thumbnail picture. thumbnail right there all right it's so on the, the shade side you can see close up the colors like a gray and matte gray I actually got TR real center caps from TRD so hopefully it will look a little bit better I know I'm faking the funk but I don't care what anybody says says I don't care what anybody says honestly all right I hope you guys like this video I hope this car looks as cool as I think it does because this car looks freaking crazy with uh, some wheels and no more running board. This is a completely different car. It looks, you know, more of like a rugged car, off-road car. It's the simple things, you know? Car is still clean. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the, the gold that much, but it's growing on me. But soon, I'll be changing the brakes, the front brakes, the rotors, and uh, the brake lines, and we'll have some good brakes. All right, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of the Sequoia build. Definitely hit the subscribe button because a lot more stuff is coming real soon. And I got things coming for the IS300 in tomorrow, actually. So stay around, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.